What's up, guys? It's Jeff from the Infirmary Report. Today, we're talking about John Carlos Stanton, who's recovering from a hand injury. We're going to break down that injury with the fantasy doctor, Dr. Seelan Parekh, and then we're going to talk about the fantasy implications with the people's pen, Andy Singleton. Guys? John Carlos Stanton injured his left wrist, in particular the hook of the handmate, back in June of last year. He had surgery and now is on the mend. Now, it is on his left wrist. And that's the one where the bat will rest on when he swings. The problem is that with some with this break, he can have some weakness. And so I don't imagine that this injury is going to hurt him on the defensive side, but look for him to have potential issues on the offensive side in swinging the bat, especially in his velocity. So we'll have to see how he does over the first few games to weeks of the of the season. But I look for him to be more normal towards the mid to end of the season. The only problem for Giancarlo has been his health, which seems to be cursed by all these freakish injuries. He doesn't steal, he doesn't help you with average, although it has gotten better, but he really is only one of a handful of guys with a legitimate 50 plus home run pop. He turned 26 in November, which means he's just not entering his power prime, which is scary considering he hit 34 home runs as a 21 year old. Before his injury last season, he was hitting a home run at an average of one every 10 at bats. Now that's just an insane number, and nobody expects him to maintain that. But his career worst percentage is one every 18 at bats. So somewhere in between that, if he has a healthy season, you really are looking at the legitimate 50 home run plus potential. He's currently going as the number three outfielder or the number six player overall, which is exactly where he should be and where you need to take him. Giancarlo Stan is definitely worth the price of admission.